Hey, Adam here from EuroParts.com. I'm here in a very muggy EuroParts warehouse to replace a CV Axle. This is an Empire unit in this 2003 Saab 95. The procedure will work on pretty much all first generation uh, 95s. So let's begin. So the Axle is held on with a really large nut that you're going to have to put a lot of torque on to get off. If you're not if you don't have a half inch impact or a large impact or pneumatic impact of some kind, then it's going to be a real bear to get off. So what you're going to have to do is take the wheel off, pop this cap off, put the wheel back on and put, the bra put it down on the ground and put the brakes on. That way the car won't roll as you try to pull this big nut off. But I have a half inch impact. This one's electric. It's a Bosch unit. It's uh, fantastic. Um, and if you don't have one, you should get one because it'll make your life a lot easier. All right, so when I took the wheel off, I found out that my axle nut is super rusted. So I'm going to use um, a product from Worth called Rust Off. This is the extra version with PTFE. And we're going to soak it for a little while. So get it nice and wet all over. All right, I'm back. We got about 10 minutes soak on this nut. Um, I'm going to use an inch and a quarter or 32 millimeter nut to try to pull this off and we'll give it a go and see how it goes. That's why we use impact. Okay, next we're going to take this caliper off so that we can move um, uh, the steering knuckle out of the way. So the first thing I'm going to do is use and take off these two big bolts. On the later cars, it is an E20 inverted Torx. All right, next we're going to suspend the caliper up out of the way so that we can work below it and not have to worry about kinking or messing up this uh, brake line. Next I'm going to remove uh, the bolts holding on the lower ball joint so that I can get the um, the spindle to pull away and hopefully clear the axle. In order to get the axle out, we need to take the tension off of the lower control arm because if you don't, it'll be a total bear to try to keep this spaced out. So I'm going to take a page out of Dr. Volk's book and use a ratchet strap. Uh, here's how I do it. What you're going to do is put one of the hooks on the bottom of the control arm here, and string it right across to the other side, and you find a place on the uh, subframe to hook it onto. That works. And then carefully, slowly pry it open. Make sure you have the, um, if you have HID lights, to make sure that the sensor is disconnected. All right, that will give us enough space to do what we need to do. All right, with the control arm out of the way, we need to pop the axle out of the spindle. Um, generally, you just take a big hammer and you whack it right on the end of that. If it's seized, first you're going to want to take a nut. Um, preferably the one that came off, and you want to thread it on ever so slightly so that when you hit it, it doesn't mushroom the threads. Um, if, it, if you mushroom it too much, it will not come through, and then you have to take some extraneous measures. So, uh, yeah. Uh, it's still a little stuck in there, so I'm going to 
get something to punch that in. That side's out. I have to pull it out of the um, intermediate shaft or axle shaft on the other side. Now that you have the uh, axle shaft out of the spindle, it's time to take it out of the other side, which is out of the, the shaft that runs from the uh, transmission to the axle. So I'm gonna use an extension, in this case a breaker bar. You can use anything you want. It's probably better tools than this. I'm gonna just try to tap it out. Depending on how much salt they use on your roads, this may be easier or harder. But it looks like it came out, which is pretty lucky. See if we can pull it out. And the axle is removed. Now that you have the new axle shaft and the seal that came off the old one, you want to slot it on so that the flat side faces the bearing that it's going into, like this. So, nothing to it but to do it. Almost home. All right, that felt good. I think that might be it. Move around. Give it a couple more cracks just for good measure. Once it's in, just a couple light taps. I'll sort of shake it in there. Check that out. It look good. Remember that the uh, ball joint goes underneath the control arm. You can reference the, the other side if you forget, but that's where it goes. Perfect.
Although we took all of this off with impact, it's important to put bolts back on with just your normal hand wrenches because you run a really good risk of stripping bolts out and you do not want strip bolts when you are finishing a job. It's the worst thing ever, so. Just use regular hand tools when tightening and you'll be good to go. Don't forget to reattach your HID sensor. All right, so keep in mind when you're replacing with aftermarket axles, a lot of times the nuts are gonna be a different size. Uh, I think it was a 32 that we took off. The one going on is a 36. So I had to dig this puppy up and I'm gonna put this on. This is one of the only nuts that you will put on with impact, strictly because it's a it's an oblong lock nut, so it's not totally round, so it won't thread on. The first couple threads will catch, so you know that uh, you're getting it. But then after that, you have to use some sort of impact to get it all the way down. Do not torque it with the impact. Just thread it all the way on and then apply the final torque with it on the ground when you put the wheel on without the center cap in. All right, now that I can see, now I can see that the, um, the CV joint has now bottomed out on the spindle and there's no more threads left on the inside. So this is basically ready to finish up. I just need to put the brake caliper on and make sure to pop the center cap out of the wheel. All right, if you were grabbing the brake disc, which I was, and my hands are pretty greasy, you're gonna get some, um, some grease on the brake disc, which is not ideal. So, I'm gonna take some brake cleaner and just give a quick wipe off of these surfaces before putting it all back together. All that's left is to pop the center cap out. I use a, the ratchet extension that I just used to uh, put the brake caliper on. And just right out. And this wheel's ready to go on. Torque spec, the official torque spec is 170 foot-pounds of torque. I don't have a torque wrench that goes that high, so basically it's as tight as you can get it. So I'm gonna use this pole to give me some extra leverage. And I'm just gonna snug it up really hard and call it done. Torque on the lug nuts are about 80 pounds or about that much. Finish off by putting your center cap on and you are done. All right, 
I hope that helps you replace the axle in your 9.5. The uh, driver's side is a little bit easier because you don't have to deal with that intermediate shaft that goes between the transmission and the other side of the drive shaft. But uh, thanks for shopping and uh, see you next time. Thank you.